What is going on everyone? Welcome back to my YouTube channel and thank you for watching another video. Today we're going to be working on the S3 and we're going to be doing a little bit of maintenance on it. We're going to be doing the Haldex service just to be specific. So I got the kit from FCP Euro. I will link that down below. So basically we're going to be flushing out the fluid. We're going to be pulling off the pump, changing the O-ring gaskets that are on the pump. Uh, it comes with all new hardware from the fill plug to the drain, um, all of that. So it's a super, super simple maintenance thing to do on the car. And if I'm not mistaken, it's supposed to be done every like 30 to 40,000 miles. So just keep that in mind if you have an A3, a Golf R, a S3, because this is going to pertain to both the Volkswagen and the Audi side. So without further ado, let's get into it. Car's already up on ramps and this should be an easy 20 to 30 minute maintenance item. All right, so here's what the kit's going to come with. It's going to come with one quart of the fluid for the Haldex. It's going to come with a new fill plug, it's going to come with a new drain bolt, and then new little o-ring gasket for uh, the Haldex pump, and new T30 to hold the pump in. So it's going to come with all new hardware, all, all new o-ring gaskets, and fluid. Alright guys, now that we're under the car, this is going to be your fill right here, that's going to be 5mm and your drain is going to be right here in front of that, it's going to be an 8mm and then here is the Haldex pump, it's got one T30 Torx on this side and then one on the other side. So I definitely recommend taking off your fill first because if you cannot get the fill off and you drain it, you're not going to be able to obviously fill it again. So definitely you need to remove your fill first to make sure it's not stripped or make sure that it actually comes out. And then after you remove this one, you're able to drain it so you're not left stranded and have to tow the car somewhere. All right guys, so like I said, we're gonna start with the fill. So I'm gonna be using this Allen key, it's a five millimeter. Uh, sockets are gonna be a lot easier. I just cannot find my sockets after this and um, just don't feel like running to the store. So this should do. It shouldn't be on that tight anyway. So let's crack, there we go. Huh, it wasn't that bad. So there you go. So now this is loose. I'm not going to take it off completely. Now we're going to remove the drain. So you're going to need uh, like a little spill pan to catch the fluid and just be aware that this stuff smells really, really, really bad. Okay, so I have my fill completely loose. It's not out yet. I'll take it out right in a second. So this is going to be the drain right here. Like I said, the eight millimeter. So let's, there we go. So like I said, this shouldn't be on too tight anyway. And we're going to drain this out. All right, so, and the kit that I'll link in the description comes with all new screws, gaskets, O-rings, everything. So let's pull this out. There we go. So the fluid doesn't look that bad to be honest. I just don't know the last time that it was changed. Um, the dealer that I bought it at said it was changed like, well the car right now has 48,000 miles that it was changed at like 36 or 37, but I just wanna make sure. And doing it myself for under $100 uh, really isn't a big deal anyway. So we're gonna let this drain out, pull off the fill, and then I'm gonna be pulling off the Haldex pump and making sure that everything is good there. All right, guys, now we're going to be working on the pump. We're going to pull the pump off. So one T30 here and one T30 up top right there. So we're going to pull the pump off and take a look at the screen, see how the filter is. And then we're going to put the new gaskets, little O-rings that the kit comes with, and then seal that back up and put it back together to make sure there's nothing crazy in the pump. All right, so the top one, I had to break out an extension because it was very hard to get to, nothing fit in there. So now we're gonna pull out both bolts. So. Okay, so both are out. So the pump is gonna be loose now. It might be kind of a pain to wiggle it out. All right guys, so reposition your pan because more fluid is definitely gonna come out of the pump area. So it might take a little bit of wiggling and twisting and there we go. So twist it and turn a little bit and it will start to come out. Again, your pump might just come out. It might take a little force 
to twist it off, but it will. There we go, mine's starting to twist. With enough wiggling, here we go, starting to leak, so it should. There we go, there we go. Like I said, get your pan ready, and you're gonna get more. Let it leak out, and then pull the pump off. Okay. So we're gonna let this drain out a little bit. All right guys, so I have the pump dangling here. I'm not gonna disconnect it, but I am going to take off the screen and I'm gonna be replacing these two O-rings here that the kit comes with. So the screen here, the little filter is a 10 T10 Torx. So I'm just gonna pull off, like I said, the little screen, see if there's any like metal shavings or any buildup or anything weird in there. Clean it out, put it back in and finish up this easy maintenance oh, and the screen is just going to pop right out just like so all right guys so here's the screen it looks honestly pretty good uh, i don't see any like metal shavings or any dirt any grime in there so honestly i'm just going to wipe this down and just throw it right back in the car and change the little o-rings that the kit came with and that's it because honestly that's a really nice sign that the pump isn't going bad or that you know there's anything weird going on in the system so let me just throw this back in the car wipe it down so you're just going to want to grab a little pick and you're going to want to pull the old o-ring gaskets off there like so it should come off pretty simple and then we're going to take the new ones that the kit comes with and just put those on just for safety measures so nothing leaks, everything is fresh. It's better to do a full service than to do a half service and then possibly have problems down the line. So once you're down here, it's better just to do everything all at once. And I'm gonna take a little bit of oil from this and just lube up the O-rings a little bit so we can put them on. So. So, and they're both the same size, just so you guys are aware. So, there's one, and there's two. Make sure that they're sitting in the right position, perfect. And now, what we're gonna do, we're gonna reinstall the screen that we cleaned up. Make sure that you put the screen in the right way. All right, guys, so make sure that you put the filter screen back in the right way. I'm gonna tighten it up. All the new o-rings are in so the pump is ready to go all cleaned up there we go just tighten that you don't want to over tighten it either just a nice snug like that kind of check the other side perfect so now we're going to swing the pump back into place so it should up right back in and then you're going to use the new screws for the new hardware that it comes with that are, again they're t30s and it'll be all nice and fresh so let's put that in nice and snug you don't want to overdo it either because you don't want this to strip out so the bottom one is all nice and sealed up let's do the top one which again the top one you might need an extension for because it is a little tricky to get to okay it's nice and snug okay. everything is nice and tight now the pump is ready, good to go. Now we can fill up the system. All right guys, so we're gonna be filling this up from the fill right here. So I ended up buying a little pump from Harbor Freight. This was like $6, because you gotta do it from the bottom. And this little end fits perfectly up into the fill hole. So what we're gonna do is I'm gonna put this end into the bottle right here. 
and then we're gonna pump up until it starts to leak out the top and then we know it's gonna be filled and then after we do that we're gonna have to start the car let the system run for a minute or two and then fill it up a little again once all the fluid runs through the system it's gonna be low and then we gotta top it off so I'm gonna put the new drain bolt in first once I put the new drain in then we're gonna start pumping it from the bottom here all right guys so as you can see here is the end of the little hose for the pump and it goes right into the fill hole so that's why this is perfect and like I said it's only like six dollars a harbor freight so here's the pump end we're gonna put it into the bottle and then just gonna pump this up like so and we're gonna fill this until this starts to leak out when it starts to leak out we're gonna pull this out let it uh, drain out a little bit because it's going to be overfilled. Make sure to have a pan under. And then we're going to start the car so that the fluid circulates through the system. And then after like a minute or two, we're going to shut the car off. And then we're going to top it off. All right, guys, here we go. So we're going to start to pump the fluid. There we go. Just do it slow. All right, guys, it's starting to leak out. A little bit we're still pumping there we go so it's starting to leak out I'm gonna do a little more all right so now what we're gonna do is so it took about a little more than half a quart I'm gonna pull this out we're gonna start the car for like a minute and then we're gonna top this off again and then see what the levels at all right guys so I let the car run for about a minute or two no leaks at the pump which is awesome because obviously once you turn the car on this starts to circulate the fluid no leaks out the drain and now we're going to top off the fill because once the fluid circulates around the system you still got to put in a little more to top it off so we're going to do that and then let it leak out a little bit so we know it's full i'm probably going to do the process one more time leave the car on for like another minute or two just to be on the safe side and then we'll wrap it up make sure everything's tight and that'll be the end of the maintenance of the Haldex. So we're gonna put this back in to the fill and start pumping again to get a little more fluid. Get your paper towel ready. And just be aware, this stuff really stinks, so make sure you take a good shower after you're doing this because this stuff is disgusting. Leaking out the top again. So put a little more, like I said, I'm gonna do that process one more time, starting up the car. All right, so I'm gonna pull this out, start up the car again, let it circulate, and then see if the level is perfect, and then we'll tighten everything up. All right, guys, so the process is done. I have filled everything up. So as you can see, where it was leaking out, obviously, when you fill it up, but the fill is completely tight and ready to go. The drain is completely tight. The pump is all tight. There was no leaks when I started up the car. So basically what I did, I left the fill off and I just started up the car and let it run for about a minute or two. Then it took about another like two, three pumps and it started leaking out again. So then I started up the car one more time, uh, again, another like minute or two. And then it ended up taking about, again, like another two or three pumps. And then at the end, I did it again, but it wouldn't take any more. So I know that the system now is 100% full. So everything is ready to go. So everything is tight guys and that's gonna be it. And just so you guys are aware, my car took about three fourths of the bottle. I still have a little bit of fluid left. So I'm assuming that's gonna be a, a roughly around the same for anyone that's doing this. So just as a reference, at least in my case, it took about three fourths of a bottle and I started the car like two to three times so everything circulates in the system so that uh, I can accurately fill it where once it got to that level where the car was running, it just didn't take any more fluid so I knew it was full. So that's when I tightened everything up. So just keep in mind, it's about three fourths of a bottle, give or take, and that might vary depending on the situation that you and your car are in. Anyways guys, that's going to conclude the video. Thank you so much for watching. That's how you do the Haldex service on either your S3 a3 your golf r this is going to pertain to both volkswagen and audi i definitely recommend though getting one of these pumps here it's only like six or seven dollars from harbor freight like i said it's going to change uh the way this is done and this end fits perfectly into the fill for the car so it makes it so easy to actually fill the system up but if you guys have any questions please let me know because uh this is something super easy you'll save yourself some money because the whole kit from fcp euro i'm going to link that down below it's about like 90 something dollars that includes the 
cord of fluid, uh, the new bolts, all the new hardware, uh, the O-ring gaskets, all of that. So obviously, if you're going to be spending that much, you're not going to want to, you know, go to a dealer or go to an independent shop and have them charge you another $200 on top of that just to do something that probably will take you 20 to 30 minutes in your driveway. And all you got to do, I mean, if you look, just put your car on ramps. I have the jack stands under just in case but the car's on ramps and it gives you more than enough clearance to be able to do everything under the car but anyways guys hopefully you enjoy please like comment and subscribe it lets youtube know that i'm doing a good job and i'll see you guys next time have a good day